Mr. Penguin. Why does negative 1 times negative 1 equal positive 1? What happened all of a sudden? But okay, I'll tell you the reason. By the way, have you heard of an imaginary number? Yes. It's something like a fake number humans created. Why do you think it's a fake number? How can I believe a number whose square is equal to negative 1? It's against common sense. Why are you telling me about an imaginary number? It's because the imaginary unit is a key, to prove this equation. Seriously? How come the fake number can prove the equation composed of numbers that exist in the world? Do you mean that an imaginary number doesn't exist in the world, but a negative number exists? Yes of course. Did you know that humans didn't know the idea of zero and negative numbers a long time ago? They thought that zero and negative numbers are fake. However, they extended the number line, and then the idea of zero and negative numbers have become accepted. So, let me do the same in order to find new numbers. What do you mean? I expand the line number like this. Now we can catch more numbers. Okay, let's say we have become able to catch new numbers, then how can we prove this equation? I'm going to make use of the imaginary unit. The imaginary unit has a characteristic other than its square is equal to negative 1. What is the characteristic? The imaginary unit rotates a number by 90 degrees. I'll show it to you. I equals 1 times I, right? So this position visually means what I is. If you multiply I by I, the point moves to negative 1. That's why the square of the imaginary unit is equal to negative 1. Right. Did you understand the characteristic of the imaginary unit? Yeah, I think so. Let me give you a simple question. What does negative 1 mean? Negative 1 is I times I, and which means that negative 1 rotates a number by 180 degrees. Right. Now you are ready to prove this equation. Negative 1 times negative 1 becomes positive 1. Wow. Imaginary numbers are interesting. I'm feeling like I discovered a new world. But how are imaginary numbers related to engineering? This is an engineering YouTube channel, right? For instance, imaginary numbers are used in AC circuit analysis, because the imaginary number world has both concepts of length and angle. AC circuit analysis and the imaginary number world have good chemistry. I'll go study imaginary numbers.